Um, this is, I guess, terrain following is not a new concept, but I think that it varies as far as the reliability and and trust that you can put into terrain following. Where do we stand with the Mavic 3 series of drones for terrain following, and how is it helpful uh, when you're looking at crops that are most likely going to be pretty flat uh, surfaces? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, while the crops may be flat surfaces, which ultimately is going to help with the terrain following, we do live in some areas that are hilly terrain. Uh, I'm close enough to the Mississippi River where we get a couple hundred feet of elevation change in some of our fields. Not most of them. We've got a decent amount of river bottom stuff, but the importance is there. So we need to make sure the drone stays somewhat the same height over the canopy so that we're getting the same side lap and front lap settings so that when we go to process the data, we get a good output, as well as the GSD, so the, the resolution of the map stays the same. Because if you have variable there, you can run into some problems when you start to do analysis on counting plants and things like that. And yeah, it's terrain following as in the previous has been really difficult to do. You have to fly the field beforehand to load in a base map. Whereas now we just unlock the obstacle avoidance sensors. It's it's working really, really well from the testing that I've had done on vegetation. And now we just unlocked a uh, beta firmware. Actually, I think it's out now to go down to 30 meters. So guys that are looking to do 150, 160 foot flights, get a little bit higher GSD, we're gonna be able to get even lower. And I know some third party apps that can bump even lower if you're looking to utilize the obstacle avoidance or train following. So you, Kyle Miller, or you representing folks that are doing this sort, these sorts of, of multi-spectral surveys, would you have train following on every time, most of the time? Is there a, a sort of decision that you need to make before you do that flight to determine whether you would turn it on or off? I'm gonna turn it on every time. So okay. previous, I wouldn't necessarily worry worry about it on somewhat flat terrain, but now it's just a toggle and the testing that I've done has been rock solid. And so even if it's only changing five, 10 feet, it's probably not gonna make a difference on stitching, but I'm just gonna toggle it on uh, and it does a pretty good job. Perfect, so it's not like uh, there's any secret sauce to understanding the, the variance of using it, you just use it and you know, set it and forget it type thing with the train follow. It's becoming that way, finally. <laughs>